first of all, I think I'm talking too much at the moment because I seem to be losing my voice, which is really fun. But hello, welcome back. Today I wanted to film a vlog, kind of a few days of my life. I'm going home on Thursday. Today is Monday for reference. And I just wanted to capture these last few days at uni because this term, I don't think I've vlogged once. Um, I just haven't been in a vlog. I've been in a bit of a slump just with everything in my life at the moment, it seems. I really can feel like the academic burnout. I have an essay due in on Friday. So that's what I'm going to be working on this week. But I just feel so tired and exhausted and kind of ready for a little bit of a break, which I'm not going to get too much of because my dissertation is due soon. I've decided that I'm going to have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to bang out some work, get some work done, have like Thursday to Monday off and then start again. So yeah, I've been feeling very, very slumpy recently. I just am not like the best way to go. I'm just not in the mood for anything. I just don't. I think I've become quite apathetic towards everything, which is a bit of an issue because I'm a very emotional person. Reading, not interested. Uni work, not interested. Um, social life, like give or take, you know? So I have been feeling quite slumpy and just not really, I've not really felt much like myself. Well, I have, but like, it's very hard to explain. I have felt like myself also like not in a usual way. Like, no, like normally I love to like, you know, I read all the time and because I'm not reading, I'm not creating content. And also I've not got time to create content because of uni. So like the social media portion of my life really has just been really, really affected. I thought we could have like a day together, kind of going into the library and then we'll come back and do some reading. So I'm currently reading to try and get up this reading slump that I'm in mean, because I'm also in a massive reading slump. I just don't, I was reading tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. I've DNF'd it guys, I'm gonna be so honest, DNF'd it, I just like took it out with me yesterday to go and get coffee and read and I thought, you know, it was a lovely day, have a nice little coffee, um, sit down, read, no, I literally read like 50 pages and I was like, I can't read anymore, like I'm on page almost 200 I think, something like that, no, I decided to pick up a silly romance because I thought, you know, trying to get back into it, sometimes you just need to go back to basics because I've been reading a lot of, um, classics and a lot of heavy books at the moment so i want something like so we've got bride by ali hazelwood which i wanted to read for ages and i just keep forgetting that i own it i'm 87 pages through and i last night i was really doing like i didn't want to put it down but i got just was getting so tired so i'm excited about this one i feel a good vibe about this but yeah hope you do this vlog it's um i feel like it's like a this is 20 vlog in a way with a hint of reading so yeah Okay. I'm officially just showered and completely flopped, but I have been reading Bright No. Let's do a rundown whilst I look like this. I do. Um, I went to the library. I managed to do some more research for my formative, which is makes me very happy. I then did 500 words of my 1000 word formative which was my goal for today so that means tomorrow I can finish it and then Wednesday edit it and send it off which is perfect um I then ended up in this deep dive up a rabbit hole <laughs> about the existence of vampires because what I'm writing this is relevant for two reasons numero uno um as you know I'm currently reading Reading Bride which is an incredible book and I'm loving it we'll come on to that in a sec um but also my essay is kind of on the supernatural women uh, the sexuality of women as portrayed in the state of a vampire long story short so i was googling vampire what well, googling researching vampires from the romanticist period um which led me down a rabbit hole of vampires in the modern day and i did have to read about jacob imprinting on renesme mm. I literally realised that I didn't vlog anything. So me and my friend Holly, you will know her from the vlogs. We watched we're watching The Bear currently. We just finished season one. Jeremy Allen White, the man that you are. I love you. Also, did everybody else see the picture of oh my god, I can't remember. Is it AO? And Paul Mescal. Everyone's like, they're gonna be they're gonna be in Beatreed as the two main characters. I literally scream, cry, and throw up if that is true. Don't try me. Gagged. I've been gagged. Anyway, let's talk about Bride by Ali Hazelwood. So I am 195 pages through. Bear in mind, I started this yesterday flying through. This is like, I don't know how to describe it. That's exactly what I want like from a book right now. This is giving me everything. It's giving 
slight fancy element. As we, if you don't know, if you've not been here, if you're new, hello, I'm Daisy. I have an obsession with vampires. Like, hear me with werewolf? I'm not into werewolves, I don't really like them. They're not my cup of tea, I'm Team Edward to my core. <laughs> love theoretically, the love hypothesis, love on the brain. That would be my ranking. I did start checking it, but I didn't get to finish it before I left for uni. So that's my god. Do I want to get back? But yeah, this is like 400 pages. So I'm going to try and whack out another set tonight. Um, another bit tonight. But really enjoying this. Good morning, guys. Welcome back. It's now Tuesday. Maybe we'll make this a weekend. I don't know what this video is going to be. I keep saying like, it could be this, it could be this. No clue. All I know is that I went to bed like super late for me. So normally I'm like a 10, 10 30 girly. I think I went to bed about half midnight. I finished Bride last night. Let me tell you, four stars, like maybe even like four and a half. This book was so good. I think it could be my favorite Ali Hazelwood book. Like on a level, I don't know what it, I think it was the vampires, guys. I love a vampire. Um, I seen some people online saying it was not really focused on the romance, focused more on the politics. And I was like, oh, tell me why I loved that. Because we got to see them grow as a couple through being friends and also through the political aspect so i really enjoyed this love and the brain was not the one for me those galaxy leggings will haunt me forever but i really thought this was such a good book and i read it in what like two lot like two big sittings and then like a little half sitting like so good ali hazel i just can't do any wrong if she writes it i will read it but that does mean i'm gonna now move on to funny story by emily henry first of all she's she's thick i know nothing okay so because obviously this book does not come out until what okay the 25th of april so because of that i know nothing about this book i don't know i've not seen any reviews zilch zero nothing basically i was getting a little bit like hmm, i need to do something with my life i need to go out so i just went to the minster gardens which are really lovely especially around this time of year like they're so lovely the trees are all blooming i'm on page 173 now it's, so good. it's like it's very clear that there's like this attraction between them it the same in the same breath they're very much like you know let's just kind of take it so let's just be friends like we've just got out of a breakup which is so fun let's talk about some of the books i've read because so far in this video i thought it was going to be a vlog then it ended up being like <laughs> let's settle on the fact that this is a reading my most anticipated reads vlog which isn't what it was originally but now it is so we go with the flow on the channel okay we go on the flow there's nothing crazy here okay just regular old me being indecisive so so far we've read two books i read bride by ali hazelwood which loved absolutely loved definitely my favorite ali hazelwood so far i have to say i think the paranormal aspect just really got me going i was really invested four stars to this an incredible read i read funny story i finished this on the train yesterday literally i had like an hour and a half train no it must have been almost two hours actually scrap that around a two hour train i sat and binged the rest of this book like this is all i can possibly think about right now these characters I, 
I have never related to an Emily Henry character more. Daphne is me. Her family issues, <laughs> me. Kind of goes about life, me. And her and Miles, tell me that is not what you want. Like, if you do not want a Miles Noack in your life, what are you doing? I'm an Alex Nelson girly to my core, okay? I love Wynn, love him, love Gus, love Charlie. I'm an Alex Nelson girly, but did did this man give him a run for his money? Absolutely. Of course he did. Of course he did, because it's Emily Henry. And every single time a new M. Hem book comes out, I'm like, yeah, that's my favourite one. The only release of Emily Henry that I was like, mm, not fussed about was Book Lovers. Every other book by her, just, I eat it up. I eat it up, okay? And this was no exception. Obviously, what was this? Five stars. Of course. Of course it was five stars. Was it ever not going to be five stars? Of course not. It's really on the same level for me as Happy Place. I read Happy Place in a day and I thought it was fantastic. I read this obviously like over two days, I think, which, you know, kind of shows how much I enjoyed it. But I don't know whether I love this or Happy Place more. So now I'm going to have to reread Happy Place. I'm currently rereading Beach Read because obviously this year I've already read You and Me on Vacation. I've read Funny Story. So now I need to reread Happy Place. But if I reread Happy Place, I'm going to have to reread Book Lovers. So at least by the end of this year, I'll give you a definitive ranking on my Emily Henry books like that I love the most. I then picked up An Education in Malice and I'm currently 53 pages through. This is not what I was expecting to be honest. I knew it was a dark academia book and I also forgot that I'd read A Dowry of Blood last year. I think I read A Dowry of Blood. I thought that book was strange and unusual and it was like nothing I'd read before which is why it was so refreshing to me to read something like that. This book is not what I expected like there is you open the book to a whole list which I really appreciate actually because I think it's really like we should be doing this in the modern day. Um, there is a whole list of trigger warnings in this book and I was like oh I didn't just didn't expect that. Um, So far I've not encountered any of them but I am enjoying it. I think this is like, I was so, this is one of my most anticipated reads for the year purely because I just got told it was like dark academia literature vibes. Like they do English lit, like they, they do poetry. And obviously, mm, hi, I'm Daze. I study English lit and I want to for the rest of my life. And I'm just really enjoying it so far. It's reading so nicely. The pro, it's, it's like reading prose or like, it's like reading, uh, it's like lyricism poetry. <laughs> fantastic when you when your part of your job is recording yourself talking so fantastic um, it's now lunchtime so i'm gonna make some lunch but whilst i do that i wanted to chat to you about an education in malice i thought my mom had got the sesame seed bagels but she didn't that's fine it's fine i like these bagels i'm gonna be so for real with you we've just got to a point that has completely thrown me off um i did not know that there was like a paranormal fantastical element to this book i thought it was all real vibes then there was a scene where one of the people started doing something and i was like that's really weird that is really weird and then it got contextualized and i was like oh Oh, so this is the route we're going. I didn't expect it. So ever since then, I'm not going to lie. I've been a little bit like, er, you know, interesting for sure. Hey, guys, it's a little bit later now. Um, I had lunch. I've been reading. And I've been trying to do some uni work. But can you hear my voice? I am so, I woke up this morning so unbelievably. Scream if I had the vocal cords to do so. Here's a fun fact about me. Whenever I get ill, you can tell by my eyes. <laughs> They go like really, I don't know. <laughs> Education and malice, let's discuss. I have like what, 100, 200 pages left. It's fine, it's fine. It's not really giving, <sighs> it's not really giving what I want it to give. And I'm also so distracted because when I'm ill, like all I do is doom scroll, which is just terrible and I don't recommend it. <laughs> If you're going to write a book about vampires, I need to know it's about vampires, right? Because I'm a vampire girl. I think vampires are the coolest fantastical creatures, to be completely honest. Fantastical, like, myth, being, whatevs. Uh, I have to be informed about it, though, okay? I need to be informed that there are vampires in a book so I know what I'm getting myself into. Because now I don't feel... Because now I thought it was a realism book. I don't believe... I don't believe the vampires. So that's my... Maybe that's on me. 
for not reading the blurb and the synopsis and just knowing it was a dark academia book but hey guys guess who's ill yesterday i was dying like dying ill which is not fun but i ended up just watching um what did i watch brave and i watched a rainy day in new york as well you can probably like my eyes are terrible but i'm about to read or hopefully finish an education in malice i've got like 110 20 pages left i don't know how i feel about this i probably would dnf it if i wasn't this far into it but we'll see what my rating ends up being you know can't be five star reads all the time hello i'm editing the video right now and i realized i never gave you an update on an education in malice here she is i have lost the dust jacket so we we just got the bear bear hide back i ended up rating this two and a half stars it was fine it was a little bit less than fine to be completely honest i think the introduction of the vampires really threw me off because i didn't expect it so maybe that is my fault you know because i didn't expect them to be there i probably should have read into it a bit more but i also think the fact that i went into this book blind and i had no idea that they were going to be in there it just felt because of the vampires it lacks that like believability you know you could read like a high fantasy book and still believe the characters like throne of glass for example and that's all fantasy not real etc etc but for some reason this book she didn't hit like i just didn't believe anything that was going on and also i didn't like the characters i thought the characters were really boring the author tried to make them really three-dimensional and instead it completely backfired and i just didn't like them they didn't feel very complex to me at all even though again the author kept like drilling it into us that they were really complex characters and they had a lot going on i didn't i just didn't believe it and i didn't like it so i gave it two and a half stars a little bit of a letdown but considering this was one of my most anticipated reads and i'd seen such good things online but hey everybody's reading taste is different and i'm glad i read it because now i know how i feel thank you so much for watching today's video i will see you in the next one and i hope you enjoyed bye <laughs>